Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. Bit of a different video for you today. I'm here in the Parfum de Mali boutique in New York. I'm joined by Ivan, who is the managing director of the brand. Hi Chris. Thank you for coming Thank on you Fragmental. So, much. so so good to see you again. The reason this video is a little bit different is it's about female inspired fragrances. Something I don't really talk about as much on my channel, but I'm very happy to talk about them more. So I'm gonna be sharing my top five female inspired apart from the Mali fragrances. So, if you want to hear what they are, stay tuned to FM. I've really been enjoying going through the uh, female-inspired fragrances that, we must clarify, are not only marketed to females to wear, they are inspired by femininity and females, but they are still unisex. Gentlemen can still wear these fragrances. There are certainly some here that I would really enjoy wearing. So um, this is hopefully um, bringing a few um, ladies to my channel who are interested in Parfum de Mali, which I'm very happy about. If you're new uh, and you found me through this video, then stay a while, subscribe, and um, join me for some more videos, and I'll hopefully get some more female um, fragrant content on here for you. So this is based on me smelling the line, Ivan introducing me to some I did know already, but Ivan has been introducing me to more from the female-inspired line. So based on me going through them this afternoon with Ivan, I've come up with what I think my top five, apart from Mali, female-inspired fragrances are, okay? So before we, uh, we start, I'd like to to say something about the collection dedicated to women. Mm. Because we started initially, and uh, when uh, Julien started the, the brand, we had only unisex, because you're right, every sense have no gender. Women will make them feminine, and men will make them masculine. But uh, Julien uh, were feeling frustrated to, you know, when you create unisex fragrances, you don't know for who you create. So it's more a technical approach where you will discover and work around some different olfactive family. Mm. But as a man, he wanted to project himself in how he would like women to smell like. And this is an emotional way of creating fragrances. And this is why we came up after a few years with a collection dedicated to women. Great. Well, you know, I think that's a really great uh, concept behind a line of fragrances. And uh, I've really been enjoying smelling and discovering some of these fragrances. So this was kind of a, a nice way for myself to, to discover them. And I just decided I wanted to do a video and share my discoveries with, with you guys. So we're going to get into the five fragrances. This is rated five, two, one. So we'll start with the number five, which is the beautiful Safanad. So Van will um, pick that one out for us. So this is Safanad. Yep. Uh, I'll look at the color of the juice on this one. So this is a this is a really elegant fragrance. It's kind of it's fruity. Uh, there's some orange blossoms, some ylang ylang. Orange blossom, pear, yep. ylang ylang, uh, vanilla. You know, it's it's really a tribute to orange blossom. Yeah. You know, orange blossom was the the favorite note of uh, Louis XIV. Mm. And uh, at the end of his life, he had allergy to yeah. perfume. Back in time, was so strong. And uh, the only knot he could wear was a orange blossom. So it's really a, a tribute to the orange blossom. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very upscale creation. Uh, to quite, quite fortunate that the note is orange blossom was the only one he could wear because um, it's a nice, fresh, clean smelling uh, floral. Um, imagine if it was a, an oud, a really animalic oud. Because mm. Louis XIV, I learned today great information that he only bathed famously once a year. So he <laughs> used strong perfume to mask the stench of body odor, basically. Um, so uh, yeah, if oud had been the only note he could wear, then he would have been in trouble. <laughs> but it was orange Absolutely. blossom, thankfully. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's really... Uh a beautiful uh, evening fragrance. You feel the mm. well-being. You feel surrounded. It's a, uh, it's a very uh, sensual, warm fragrance. Definitely warm fragrance, yeah. and uh, it's a beauty. It's, uh, it's um, you really get the white floral from this. I think it's probably the uh, ylang ylang uh, mixed with the fruitiness, and it just seems to create, as Ivan said, a very sensual nature to this fragrance. It draws you in, and it, it does have a seductive element to mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, Safanad is uh, is a lovely scent. 
Um, so if you're not familiar with it, then do do try it. Should we go with the next one? Sure. So the next one we're going to look at is Darcy, which is in this lovely gold bottle. Um, so Darcy is uh, it's a it's a bright fragrance. Yes. Um, there's some citruses and some metallic vibes in it. Okay. Yeah. A bit gourmand yeah. as well. The one of the defining things about this is the base of this fragrance, and it has a lovely praline note yes, in there. Gourmand, uh, so it does add this, a little bit naughty, a little bit sweet mm. gourmandy. You know when someone feels a little bit naughty when they want when they have a dessert, it's kind, kind of like a little bit classy, naughty, very elegant, classy as well. Uh, yeah. More for women yeah. than girls. Yeah. Uh, very upscale, very complex. Yeah. Uh, I imagine the business woman, someone very confident and very yeah. elegant. Yeah. And uh, yeah, who wants to ooze sexuality? Yeah. Uh, and I think the musks in here, the muskiness, really lend yeah. to the sensual nature. It's a beautiful, beautiful creation. And, yeah. Uh, uh, Can't stop. Projection talking. is great. Yeah. The trade is amazing. Yeah. Uh, but we are more in the classy mm -hmm. part of a perfume yeah. than a fruity, girly. It's it's but something. Do, yeah, it does have a, a refinement to it. Yeah. Uh, it's a classy fragrance, certainly a classy fragrance rather than a fun clubbing fragrance. So I think if you know you're out there, if you're a classy woman or a classy guy, uh, you know, a guy's like yeah, I said so could could wear this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you've got any class and sophistication about you, this mm. is a good one to go. And the praline in this is just mm. it's a real beautiful yeah. note in there. Um, so there we go, and a lovely, a lovely bling gold bottle as well. Yeah. So if you like a bit of bling, and you want to smell classy, then Darcy is an option for you. Okay, and another one that I just smelled today, which I really enjoyed straight away, is Italia. So this to me is a lovely bright, um, citrusy fragrance. Um, oh yeah, this is... Um, the last one we were talking about, the sensuality of it, mm. this is to me as well, that classy and sensual. Many people know that actually uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite of the, this collection dedicated to women, Atalia, I'm addicted to it, that's personal, doesn't mm -hmm. mean you will be. No. But uh, men love to smell yeah. Italian women, it's... Yeah. Very sensual, very sexy. Yeah. Personally, I have a, a carnal attraction into it. I okay. want to bite. I want to yeah. to, yeah. to feel. Yeah. You know, it's a I get that. it's a very innovative chord with amber base, iris yeah. surrounded by orange blossom. Mm -hmm. It's and there's some amber and some cashmere and amazing. smooths everything out. Maybe more towards evening. Yeah. Uh, when you are dressed for dates, that for me is a ultimate fragrance yeah. for a woman to go to a date. Mm. I think it's absolutely fantastic creation. Yeah. You know, I can wear this. I could easily wear this. I could. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not, like we were saying again about the other ones, it's not feminine, it's not girly. Uh, it w would work amazingly well off woman, but it's not a girly fragrance at all. It's a very um, woman fragrance. Yeah. Very sensual, very sexy, very yeah. different, very innovative as well. So yeah. it's a kind of, fragrance you wear as a, as a woman, as a statement, as, here it, I am. Yeah, it is a statement maker, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and yes, forgive me, because I'm not as familiar with these fragrances, so Ivan is helping me out with the descriptions of these, because I haven't spent um, as much time with them as I have the, um, the uh, male, uh, well, the, the more unisex mm. fragrances that, that I own, some mm. of them. Um, Italia is, um, it, it is another beauty. Um, so that was my number three. My number two now is Delina, which is a gorgeous, a little more of a slightly girly type of fragrance, mm -hmm. I would say, than the others. But um, you know what? It's, it's, I, I could, I could wear this. I would okay. be, I would, I would be happy to wear this. I think I would prefer to smell this on my wife um, or on a woman. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I think it just would work really well paired with femininity. Mm. It's it's really a huge success for mm. us. It's a, an olfactive miracle, I yeah. can say. Okay. But in each and every ladies that wear Delina, when I meet them, tell me, oh, thank you so much. Mm. 
people stop me in the street, people stop me at work, everyone asks me, oh, what do you wear, can I ask you? It's the beauty of this creation is a trail. Yeah. You have a phenomenal trail, but which is not overwhelming, mm -hmm. which is very tuned, very uh, smooth and beautiful, but people notice it in a beautiful way around you. Yeah. It's a massive compliment getter. Yeah. I'll, I adore it. Uh, you know, the lychee rhubarb mm -hmm. opening is absolutely And is there great. rose? Is some you rose in here? rose yeah. heart, natural yeah. red rose from Bulgaria. Yeah. Uh, musk and a touch of vanilla. It's so what, it's a fantastic. fantastic. My description of this fragrance is: you get this lovely fruitiness, and then you get the rose in the heart, mixed with the vanilla. So it kind of makes the rose just this lovely, smooth, creamy mm. type of rose. Uh, so it's not a, a super sharp no. rose, which rose can sometimes no. be. Right. Um, almost a little, um, you know, gourmandish uh, mm -hmm. in, in its nature because of that vanilla in mm. that. Um, That's a perfect fragrance to wear every day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, well, yeah, I can imagine them. It, it, it's incredible at work in every occasion. Yeah. And you get noticed, you get compliments, you yeah. you feel confident yeah. in a way because you the, this smell is so amazing that yeah, I think this would be a great it's a, daily it's signature a huge, scent it's for a, a woman. Huge success to and. Yeah. Uh, and we are super happy with it. <laughs> well, great. Well, I, I, I love it. The, uh, the number one is Delina Exclusive. It was a toss up. I, I really enjoy both of these. The reason I enjoy this one a little more is it, it goes even more to the gourmand for me. Yes. So it's a bit more pushed with the vanilla and a little yeah. kind of creamier so and gourmandish. The, the main difference oh, is a bit more powdery. Yeah. It's a bit more warm. It's a warmer. Mm. Delina Original is more. It's a sparkling fragrance. It's yeah. a fragrance very dynamic. Yeah. Uh, very sexy. Very uh, champagne. Mm. So beautiful to wear any time of the day. Uh, when Delina Exclusive is warmer, is more depth into it. Yeah. More vanilla in the base. Natural yeah. vanilla from it's Madagascar. Warmer. It's a warmer it's fragrance. Warmer. Yeah. It's more lady. Mm. More evening. More winter. Yeah. Uh, and I, I adore it. Picture a winter night, you're going out for a date night, mm. you're going out for a, a meal with your loved one, it's a little cold outside, you're going out with a scarf on maybe, exactly. you're going to a lovely restaurant for a meal. Mm. I love it so much that sometimes yeah. at work I spray, put one spray on my yeah. hand, then I'm on, on the computer. Just to get wafts as you're working. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's it is fantastic. actually a very calming uh, yeah. type of smell, yeah. I, would, I would say. Um, Projection, so it's a perfume, yeah. concentration. It's not an it's pure perfume. perfume, it's yeah. a pure perfume. Uh, so you can imagine it lasts more than a day. Yeah. Uh, projection is incredible. So this yeah. is a, a, a real piece of art. Yeah. And uh, we have many uh, women wearing both actually, Delina and Delina Sure, yeah, yeah. And uh, Delina by day, Delina exclusive by night, and exactly, combining the two, yeah. Exactly, occasion. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 they really complete each other. So yeah. some lady will dislike the exclusive version and will love the Delina, some will love only the exclusive, and mm -hmm. some will love both. So yeah. it, it's such an amazing creation. Uh, Julien did with uh, Quentin, and uh, yeah. it's it's fantastic pick. It is. I'm not it's, surprised. Yeah. You, you it, had the Delina exclusive as number one. It's one of those, it just ticks all the boxes for me. It, it has that sweet that Glenn. Uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Cologne. Cologne. Yeah. Sometimes wear Delina exclusive. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. I can see and, that. Yeah. Uh, He's not afraid of his floor. He was so. a bit upset at his girlfriend because she, she grabbed it from him yeah. to wear it. Oh, all right. He yeah. loves it too. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a beautiful creation. And I do have to say that all these uh, bottles in this line feel great, they, they just, you know, because of the, the shape of them, they feel great in the hand, they look great, they look classy, they look like fine luxury perfumery, which is exactly what they are. Um, Delina exclusive is amazing. If, you, if you're not familiar with this house, get a sample set, try and pick up a sample set if you can and smell some of these fragrances because if you haven't yet smelled them, you're gonna love them. I, I've not met anyone really that doesn't love this house. Um, they're Thank very, uh, very easy to like, very nicely composed with a lot of naturals, which is why they last so long and they have such great performance. Mm. Um, so enjoyable for the wearer, but enjoyable for those around you as well. Um, what more do you want from a, a perfume, really? So there are my top five female-inspired Parfum de Mali fragrances. Um, uh, this is a first for me on my channel to talk about female fragrances. I felt a little bit out of my depth, but uh, I'm glad I had you here to help me we out. We have many ladies. Uh... 
uh, having uh, some of our creation and joining, yeah. of course, Delina, Talia, and the one you mentioned, but not only, even in the unisex collection, we have like a good 30, 35 percent customers being women. So yeah. don't hesitate yeah, to, to discover oh, and, yeah. and pick. Uh, uh, normally, whatever suits you, whatever you, you enjoy. You should yeah. love uh, one, two, maybe three, but really love them yeah. and dislike the others because yeah. uh, we always try to to offer something different every mm. time we have a, a new in the collection, yeah. a new scent. This is different from what exists already. Mm. So we that's the beauty of being in the haute perfumery world is we create to please few people mm -hmm. that we want them to love it. Yeah but we don't create to have everyone yeah. to love all of them. So that uh, gives us a lot of freedom in yeah. the creativity. Yeah. Well, it's been fascinating to, um, to talk with you about the fragrances as we, we go through them. Because uh, you are the expert on these fragrances, uh, but I have truly enjoyed them and it's been a pleasure to chat with you about them. Thank, thank you for coming on Fragmental. Thank you so much. It was so cool to see you in New York. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah. Was hopefully amazing. I can get here again soon because sure. I've, I've just anytime, had an absolute blast anytime, there in New York. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody, for thank watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. Bye, everyone.